Hello, my name is Sandra Carey. I am a nurse practitioner with Baylor Scott & White Center for Advanced Heart Failure. I have a PhD in clinical research, so I do part-time uh, research as well as managing patients in that program. I have been practicing for about 15 years and I was very fortunate early on to be introduced to a sleep medicine physician that was very generous and a mentor for me. And I quickly learned from this individual how important that uh, screening be done and this comorbid condition that affects not only cardiovascular disease but many co comorbid conditions that we manage specifically in heart failure. To be quite honest, uh, the adoption of sleep management for our patient population has always been challenging. Initially, we had a dedicated pulmonologist that we would directly refer within our practice. Unfortunately, he left, but quite frankly, again, even before he left, there was always problems with getting the patients in in-lab sleep labs. We grew and lost our uh, sleep provider. We had to figure out pretty quickly how to implement a seamless program. And quite frankly, COVID facilitated a lot of it. And uh, as COVID roared its ugly head, there was sleep labs in our area that shut down. And without the use of a home study test, we would have been really uh, absent for care of these patients. Our experience with Watchpad has been very positive. I think it's uh, been something that we seamlessly integrated into our practice setting. Surprisingly, uh, very rapidly and at, at a high volume, the patients have adopted it quickly. The patients are more, more open to doing it versus uh, going into an in-lab environment. So it's been fantastic. I. Absolutely, uh, as a scientist, love the amount of data that's at my fingertips. It's uh, very easy to read. You don't have to be a PSG expert to get through um, the reports and come up with a conclusion. This is the only home sleep study test that attriculates uh, central sleep apnea. And so um, that is very intriguing for me. I suspect that we're gonna be able to find more central sleep apneas with WatchPat than we ever have before. Moreover, looking at the data and the testing and the portal and the, the data points that I personally had access to was wonderful. Once we refer a patient to a sleep specialist, we frequently lose that catch net. It's, it's, uh, it's very difficult to make sure these patients are being seen, make sure they're tested, and then um, more importantly, getting their therapies and being compliant with those therapies. Now we have an opportunity to have a window of that. It can't be too complex. It can increase your human capital, the nurses, your medical assistants, the people that support your, your program, your clinic, your process. If it, it includes additional burden, it's not gonna work. So therefore we go back to the benefit of having this white glove service that WatchPat provides. It's so uh, write the order and you're done and you know that that team is gonna take over and make sure the appointments are made, DME is, is accomplished. So if it wasn't for WatchPat during these trying times with COVID, we absolutely would have ceased uh, diagnostics and treatments for a significant amount of time for our patients. That's number one. Number two, I think that we've increased uh, continuity, we've increased patient participation, we've increased uh, patient interest about getting a diagnostic test they generally would have fought, fought us against. Finally, the amount of information and data that we're currently collecting is gonna be a game changer for the future of how we care for patients with sleep apnea. Mm -hmm.